Happy sunshine, boys and girls. What a fun day of making a bunch of interesting observations during the eclipse. I posted this video here uh, in 1080p of the maximum occultation footage from Bend, Oregon, and uh, I captured a moving object crossing from the top of the sun straight down uh, during the eclipse. And I want you to take a notice that the thumbnail that I used here is this photo. It's a still image. It is not part of this footage at all. This is uh, taken about 9.22 a.m. local time, Pacific time. And I love this photo so much that I uploaded it and used it for the thumbnail for this video here. Now, I've got this video roughly queued up here, and we're going to put it full screen. I got it in 1080, and I'm just going to let that object, which is coming down from that letter M, um, and then towards the moon. Oh. It happens at 27.27. Okay, I'll cue you as it comes in. There it goes. There it is. There it is. Okay, so, so you see that object and you see this sunspot that has just emerged. So the moon is already past the totality phase in Oregon when I captured this. Now what's really interesting is that somebody sent me this link here. Uh, it's got to go to, credit goes to Flathead Politics. He's got a YouTube channel and he was out recording the the eclipse today too. He saw my video and then he caught wind of this and forwarded it to me immediately. Uh, NASA photographer captured a once in a lifetime sight, the ISS crossing the sun in the middle of the eclipse. Now they got a, an animation here of, you know, it's a sequence of, of images that were recorded at 1500 frames per second, uh, this says. Um, and you know what I notice? I notice that, <laughs> how do we do it? Let me, let me shrink this window here. Like the, the phase in the eclipse, it's just about the same. Look at the sunspots. They chose a similar photo. It's not the same. So they didn't they didn't take my thumbnail at all, but it's a similar photo. And it was not at all anywhere near the time frame when I captured that moving object across the sun. So, you know, I, I'm putting all these interesting observations together. Uh, I filmed the eclipse today, I found a moving object, and some other uh, visual artifacts as the sun was uh, coming back into view. And uh, then I caught this moving object, and I've caught other moving objects before. Um, this is from one of the first videos that I, that I did. Uh, it's a couple years old, and I've got it queued up right about to the right spot here and I want you to take a note from the left coming to the right uh, there's going to be a, an object across the moon it's coming in right about now you see that now this particular clip rush hour on the moon it has a hundred and fifty four objects crossing the moon in an uncut eleven minute clip I don't know how to explain that Today, while I was filming the eclipse, I caught another object that was similar to so many of these objects that I have captured crossing the face of the moon. And I posted my video 
at one in the afternoon and it must have been around seven o'clock that Flathead Politics emailed me this link and, I, and I'm blown away. I, you know, I, I just wonder what explains all these freaky coincidences because uh, this is not at all like the, the path of this ISS, it's going from left to right relative to, to these sunspots here. Um, my object was that going up and down, it, that the purported NASA ISS footage is going across from the right to the left. So it can't possibly be the same object. And so what I suspect NASA is doing is trying to jump out in front of the curve and to define any observations that were made during this eclipse where, a, where you see a moving object crossing in front of the eclipse, that's going to be forever defined in the mainstream reality as, oh, that was the ISS. But it does not stand up under the weight of all of its details. Um, so... Paul on the plane is going to have a real fun time with, with all of these pictures here, I'm sure. And I just can't wait to see what he pulls out from all of it. All right, that's all for right now. Lunacy out.